everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Welcome to Toronto. Toronto's been on such a roll as of late, they almost look invincible these days. You start to get that feeling when they won a game like they did the other night where they probably didn't play as well as they had earlier in the street. Doesn't matter, they won it anyway. Now they want to continue to push this out. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The Leafs take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Looks to pass it to Barry. Here's a rocket of a shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Talbot's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Tavares has won the faceoff. And that goes off a player in front from the place 99 made famous. Takes the pass. Oh, he caught him in the open ice. Puck lands back onto a stick. The Flames have it against the wall. Quick pass to Lindholm. Hammers it, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. That's a solid hit. Comes up with the stop. Quick feed to Barry. Tavares takes it across the line. Turns it aside. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Hey, usually the win They're gonna go, are they trying to send a message early here? Yeah, I think so, and it, it didn't look like it took much to drag either guy into the fight. pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. Of course, everybody jumps up when the fight happens, but your guy wins, and the building just keeps moving along. And the crowd's still on their feet here, Ray. Makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned, but he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Calgary's gained possession. That's a solid check on the play. Here's a chip all alone. Huge stop by the goaltender. Oh, he read that perfectly. Excellent position to make the stop on the breakaway. Stop by the goaltender. Dead center, excellent save. Big stop by the keeper. Dermott's got the puck in his own zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Oh, what a glove save! Jankowski's won the faceoff. Picked up along the wall by Anderson. And now he moves it quickly to Froelich. Maintains possession. Tries to get the puck over to Aberg. Here they come on the attack. Centering pass! And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Toronto's got possession here in the offensive zone. Dished on over to Jankowski. Puck picked up by Petrovic. Thunder his head. Well, that's inevitable. He had his head down, got hit so hard he dropped his stick. Now he's got to go pick it up before he can join the play again. That's why coaches say keep your head up, right? Well, that's one of the reasons. And he comes up with it. Oh, that's a good hit. Moves it quickly over to Wilson. And that's blocked away. From point Whoa. blank. Score! Nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. Toronto 
Bucks offense has been hammering away since the start. They finally get a goal. You chip away, you chip away, the crack opens up. Now you take advantage. They've done that, and they'll want to finish off the first period the same way. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Here's a shot, and that's blocked. Moves it to Harper. Takes it across the blue line, and he loses control of the puck. With authority. And that's taken by the defense. Now that thing sounded like a car crash when those two guys came together. Scores! Quick blast, no chance. He didn't waste any time. If he would have stopped that puck, the goalie would have had time to readjust. As it is, it's in the net. to their lead here in this first. They are off to a phenomenal start. They've had to puck the whole of this first period. They're well-deserved of this 2-0 lead. Goal scored by number 20. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play covering up the puck. Well, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Toronto's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that one stopped. Toronto's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. Puck scooped up by Barry. Denied by the blocker. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Over the line they come. Here's a shot. Denies him in front. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. And another stop. Nice speed from the goaltender. Great hit on the play. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Talbot's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. The league's physicality has controlled this game. They've been far more aggressive, and as a result, they've got the lead. Toronto's got the lead here late in this first period. Monaghan's won it in their own end. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. Solid hit on that play. Hangs onto the puck. Stones him in front. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Moves the puck. There's the collision. And not much on that one. That's all she wrote on the first period of play as the horn sounds. The rink fairly tilted to one side after the first 20. They lead it 2 nothing. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Second period set to get underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Talbot's been outstanding in this game so far. In the first period, he doesn't play like this, and this is a bigger spread in score. Monaghan's going to play it to the corner. Gives them nothing in front. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. And we'll get a stoppage on the ice here. And the puck sails down to the far end of the ice. So go back to the defensive zone and try it again. That puck is snapped pretty quickly. The goalie has to be sharp to make the save. The Leafs have put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead here early in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Carries it across the line. Puts it on net. Takes that one right in the logo. And we're going to get a whistle here. Toronto's been able to play themselves to the top of the league standings with a consistent season. From the goaltender to the guys doing their scoring, it's been an excellent year. 
James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Taken along the wall by Tavares. Can't get it to go with the steal. Trying to gain a step. He's in. Pass it across. And that one's broken up. Tries to get it to Kapanen. With some momentum driving towards the net. Blocked in traffic. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Here they are on the attack. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Kapanen. Pass right in front, and they can't convert on the play. The backhand, nothing doing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Toronto's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Matthews is quick on the draw. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Brody's got it across the line. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Tries to get it over to Dermott. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Stick way too high on that one, Ray. That's a bad penalty, James. If he has a stick on the ice, you can finish your hit. There's no way that there's going to be a penalty called. Toronto sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. I always felt on the power play, the first one was really important for any team. If you stumble around on the first power play, guys start to press as you get more and more of them through the game. Poked away from danger. What a steal in his own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here, a little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four on four hockey on tap. Well, the goalies have to be sharp here because there's every bit of possibility that someone's going to break free pretty quickly on four on four. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gets it out of his own end. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Slides the puck to Muzzin. Muzzin swooping in on the attack. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! The Leafs are chucking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. Kerfoot's won the draw. And now it's grabbed by Berry. And that goes off a player in front. Puts it on net. Blocker save. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Scores! Three is the magic number. And that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. That's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. Makes his way back to center ice here for the face-off. What a performance by these guys tonight. They've been terrific. Dominated the game at both ends of the ice. The pace of the game is what they want, and they're comfortably in front. Gets in front of it. He's not going to face many more high-danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. Trying to get back on the attack now. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Drills him. An opportunity for some power play time now as he steps. There's the whistle, and we've got a penalty shot being called here. He broke free. It looks like he's in all alone till he gets tripped up. This is the right call. And the shooter lines up. Here we go. Makes the stop under pressure. Man, he's so composed in there, doesn't look under stress at all, and makes a really straightforward save. Toronto's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Shores won a big draw on their own end. Hyman's got it into offensive territory. Strong defensive effort. Angles it over to Thornton. 
takes the feed. He's got a step. The Flames scores! He had to be ready for this puck to end up on his stick. He doesn't take any time at all. The goalie's not set. It's in the net. He makes a great play on the net. He's been doing it all season long. That's why he leads this team in goals. Calgary's given themselves something that everybody in sports longs for. Hope here, Ray. Hope? A chance? Hey, it's here. Something! Time isn't the enemy yet. Quick pass to Goudreau. Laying the body. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Marner's got the puck. With the stop. The Leafs have been the most aggressive team in this game. Now they've stretched the lead out as they continue to wear their opponent down. Past the midway mark in this period. Calgary's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. No scores! What a shot! A couple goals in right around a minute and 50 seconds. Buckle up, everybody. We're not done yet. Wow, they've got some energy now. He must have seen a sliver of room there. He doesn't waste any time. He snaps that past the goalie and capitalizes on the breakaway. Calvary's got new life here in this second period, Ray. It's amazing what a goal does. The energy on the bench changes. Guys can't wait to get on for their next shift. Puck grab by Velimaki. Slides it across to Jankowski. With possession along the wall. Hammers it on net. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Quick feed to Tavares. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck up to Jankowski. Slides the puck across to Lucic. Offside the call. And we'll have a faceoff just outside the blue line. Toronto's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Bennett's won the draw here in the open ice. Sends it in deep. Reader's got control of the puck in the corner. Stopped by the goaltender. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Aber. Big hit. And there's the save. Handles the pass from his goalie. Into the offensive zone. Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 he won't get back. He's not paying anyway. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. And here's the pass to Matthews. Puts it towards the net. And a great save. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Scores! <laughs> Coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only can see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Toronto's given themselves a little breathing room here late in the second. I would say the next couple of minutes before we get to the intermission are really vital. You'd like to go in just in the spot you're in right now. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Here in the dying moments of this period, Toronto's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Matthews has won the draw. Big time stop there. And nearing the final minute of the second. Big hit. Breakaway. And he comes up with a big stop on the breakaway. Almost like the shooter waited and waited and the opening never came. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Great stop by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. 
Great reflexes, another save. And the offense of Onslaught will come to an end as the clock runs out, bringing the period to a close. Are you ready for your walk down memory lane? Then join us for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with your childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. And you can call us right now. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. 40 minutes into this one here. Razor, how do you see things? Toronto's got a lead in this game, which is probably a last shot win sort of thing. Man, it's been out of control for two periods. I love it. Neubert's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. Backlund's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. Backlund's not going to be able to go here. He's headed down the tunnel with a little bit of hitch in his giddy-up. That's some kind of leg injury. We'll try to get you an update as soon as possible on his status for the rest of the game. Tavares wins it in the offensive zone. Great defensive play. He might have a step here. All alone. Great save. And as he, look at this here. He's getting right into the grill. Yeah, well, the goalie's there. The players are there. Man, he's pretty feisty. referee Gillivec and you look at this this felt like it was a one-sided from the get-go well the goalie showed he can catch the puck and he can catch a punch it looked even until it wasn't and the road team gets a clear decision here Toronto's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Matthews wins the faceoff. Janssen's got it along the boards. Time of the penalties. Swing and a miss. Bats it out of midair using great hand-eye coordination. Man, James, sorry. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see the defender step right into that hit. Here's a short pass to Barry. The Flames get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Rocks him on the play. Here's a blast. Big save by the goaltender. The Leafs are in the lead, and now they seem intent on just wearing their opponent down. They've had by far the most physical period. The Flames are going to have to adjust here. They will not be getting that injured player back. He's done for the night. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Oh, he just got hit oh. by a freight train. This has to seem like rush hour to him. He can't get from one end of the ice to the other without getting run over. Moves it quickly over to Kapanen. Here's the pass. Calgary's got the puck. Hannafin's got it through center. Puck moved over to Matthews. Here they come, three of them. He scores! I believe a call in the bar likes to call those. Coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. It's a bad decision by the other team as they get caught in an odd man rush, but they don't make any mistake. This is a beauty. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. And we've got a two-on-one. Hammers it on net, and he stands tall in goal. Now over to Kerfoot. Carries it in. Moves it to Hyman. Again, the denial by the goaltender. 
smothered that in close chance. Up along the wing. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Valabaki's moving the puck through his own zone. There's the physical side. Hammers the shot. Oh, what a stop! The Leafs have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. Thornton's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Froelich. Handles the puck. Pass across to Kachuk. Lays the body. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Nylander's carrying it ahead. Right in front, and he whiffs on it. Talbot's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. All right, Ray, is he thinking about it now? Oh, there's no way he's not. I had nine of these, nine hat tricks, and when you get the second one, it's really kind of the only thing you're thinking about. Frolink's taking it from his own end. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. And makes the save. Feeds the puck across to Frolink. That's a solid hit. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 What a stop by the goaltender. He's right in position as he follows the shooter and snuffs that chance away. And that's picked off in front. Slides the puck over to Frolink. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Kind of lost control for a sec. Scores! Three straight goals here. They have really played the boots to those guys in the last little bit. This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here. tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Taken by Barry. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Ryan's being set off for two minutes for high sticking. I was going to say, James, I don't know what he's thinking, but the answer is he's not. That's a high-sticking penalty. Pretty avoidable penalty to take. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Puck picked up by Matthews. Really solid shift here. Their puck possession game has been outstanding. Now they've got it again, and they can hold it down underneath the blue line. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. They're going to go here. This isn't about winning the game anymore. This is about settling a score. the end of that spirited boat. Oh, it only takes one to stagger a player. In that fight, he looks like he struggled here at the end of it. He's not doing very well. Toronto's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead a big time late in this third period. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. With the stop. Puck scooped up by Anderson. He's got a little jump. He's clear. What a stop on the breakaway. Takes the pass from his goaltender. And there's the save. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. Rocked on the play. James, he is going to feel terrible tomorrow. He's been hit so many times tonight. 
takes the feed from his netminder. Lays into the body. Look out, a two-on-one. Rocks him. The Leafs have it against the wall. Tavares gains the zone. Right in front of the net. And that one's broken up. Quick pass to Thornton. And now he moves it to Falamaki. Moves the puck over to Anderson. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Aber. They've got numbers. Slides it across. And it scores! What a shot! No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Toronto's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Moves it around along the half wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Rocked on the play. That's a solid check on the play. Denied by the goaltender. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Coming into this game, this team was really confident. So to suspect another win probably wasn't a stretch for them. They extend the streak. Well, the way they're playing, it looks like that streak's not going to show an end anytime soon. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.